welcome Midori Fountain Pens and Inks fans and in this this review I'd like to go through a quick review of the back pocket ink tester which I received from Kernel Bookbinding and Leatherworks. I bought two of the packs each pack comes with three books which are bound like this with a, a white band and um, they're about feel note size so here's um, my feel note cover that I've got uh, in, in a traveller's notebook style and uh, you can see here's a, a booklet that I've got open already it fits perfectly in there I've also got a, a regular feel notes book in there and I also currently use a back pocket journal uh, with Tomo River paper in there for uh, logging some of my ink samples. You may have seen that in some of my other reviews. Um, I really like the idea of these and the, the fact that these books uh, come pre-printed with um, a standard guides. So you, you record the brand, uh, the name of the ink, the pen you're using, the nib you're using, the date you did the sample, along with some uh, um, some ratings, the overall rating, the shading, the saturation, the flow, and then you've got a section for recording some swabs and making some comments. At the beginning of the book, at the start book, so I've started using this one already, as you can see, you've got an index page, and you can actually catalog uh, 46 46 different uh, inks or uh, ink pen combinations in this booklet, which I think is great. So what I think this will bring to me is some structure in the way uh, when I'm testing or recording some of the ink samples that I've got. Uh, so in this, this first entry, I've recorded um, just the Kaweco Blue. That comes with the uh, Kaweco pen. And the, the pen I re uh, reviewed a, a few weeks back, the Stonewash Kaweco I used in here. Um, I recorded in here the uh, the dry times between 5, 10 and 15 seconds, made a few comments how I think the, uh, the ink performs uh, on this particular paper because actually on moleskins, which I generally use a, a, a large uh, moleskin K here size for work, for just doing meeting notes, it comes out much lighter, this particular ink. So it's a, it's a good record of, uh, of your inks. Also, the paper that uh, they've used to, to, to make the book is actually really nice. It's quite smooth um, and there's no, well, with, with the, my first sample, which is using a medium nib, and I think the Kaweco pen is, is not a very wet pen, and I wouldn't say it's extremely dry either, it's in between um, that there's no 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 sort of bleed through or show through so the paper holds up pretty well and you can imagine if you're going to do swabs that it does need to be reasonably robust paper so really really good notebooks highly recommend them and um, I think I'll enjoy using them and uh, keeping a catalogue of all my inks also um, in this review, I'd like to just do a, a quick show and tell or a quick review on uh, some other bits that I've bought recently. Uh, one of them, you may have seen me post about uh, the Cara Customs Ink fountain pen. I bought this pen from uh, a mass drop offer that was on recently, and I went for the aluminium finish with the aluminium section. Now, there is... Um, a number of different, or say a number, there's another two different sections you can get. You can get a copper section and you can also get a brass section. But I thought with the standard aluminium pen, which isn't iodized in any any other color, um, the aluminium which matches would be much better. And I actually went for a medium nib with this pen. Uh, one shock I did get when I, um, when I uh, first received this pen was that um, it comes in a cardboard box, which I, unfortunately I don't have with me at the moment. Um, it just, it comes like this. I open the pen up and nothing, no section, no nib. And I was, I was a little bit shocked. I didn't look properly in the box because it was hidden away under the flap, but the section and the nib were in a separate vacuum seal bag inside. I presume they do that because you have this different combination of uh, section colors and nibs and they can just uh, drop them into a separate piece with a standard body. Really, really like the uh, feel of this pen. 
One of the things you will notice, however, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick it up, but the clip, uh, the clip is quite sturdy, very, very stiff, but there's a gap between the clip and the body of the cap itself. Uh, so I can imagine it would be quite easy to get onto a jeans pocket or a, a, a pocket where there's quite a lot of material. But if you were just to put it into your shirt pocket uh, of a regular dress shirt, it would be quite loose. It's not going to hold anything in place. However, it is a very sturdy pen. Very, very plain. Uh, you can see the top where the, uh, where the uh, cap, sorry, top of the cap that holds the clip in. There are some... Uh, sorry wrong side there's some screws that go straight in and they're sort of beveled in or uh, sound, uh, countersunk in to the top uh, just underneath the cap you've got this line going round the edge as a feature but the bottom end of the barrel just plain so I haven't inked this up it does come with a converter by the way so I've uh, fitted the converter uh, and, uh, it can be, and you can use standard uh, international cartridges in, in this pen as well. The pen itself, really nice finish, looking forward to using it. I haven't as yet, as I said, inked it up or used it, so I haven't got any reviews on that. But one of the reasons I, I bought it is it was to, to go with another item, which I was just going to quickly show you, was the Nock Fodderstat. Now, I, I, I bought this from uh, Notco and uh, the idea was it would become a really good everyday carry. With this pen being quite sort of sturdy uh, I thought it would work quite well and actually the clip works really well on here because the material is quite, quite thick at the top of the, the seam here. The pen would sit in there and I also bought some of the index cards, so the dot dash index cards with the bluey grey finish. So you get two uh, two colours of the dot dash, you get the orange and the bluey grey, and I went for the bluey grey. Uh, again, these are great for an everyday carry. If you're not going to be carrying a notebook around, but you do want to um, carry some decent sort of note paper and a pen, you you can carry these. Now, just the front here is just a, it's almost like a, a cover label, which is just standard paper, but... Uh, if you look at the main index cards, there are quite a, a, a reasonable sort of thickness. I would say probably 100, maybe 110 GSM. Uh, so quite a decent quality. And they, they're they made for this uh, fodder stack. So you can, you can carry a number of uh, cards in there. And the beauty of this is obviously you make, I don't know, shopping lists or if you're out and about, you want to make a note about something or even just leave someone a note. Uh, often, you know, if you're popping in to see a friend or a, uh, uh, or a family member they're not in, you can leave a quick note and just post it through the door. Brilliant. So there were the things I just wanted to quickly touch base on uh, today. Uh, I will be doing some more pen reviews fairly soon. But I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.